Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode and in this video tutorial I will talk about how tie lines are considered in network reconfiguration. So in this video I will talk about what's the relation between the network reconfiguration, how to set up tie lines and how to set up the IGWO optimization algorithm to find the best tie lines and what will be the size of the distribution. So this is a MATLAB based tutorial and this is a educational purpose video. So in this video I will explain each and everything. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So uh, initially I want to say what will be the purpose of the tie lines. Actually the tie lines are used to connect two or more uh, distribution feeders together and if we have a single feeder like in this case we have IEEE 33 bus system so in such case we have to connect bus bars together so the purpose of uh, the tie lines or you can say the benefits is to increase the system reliability and improve the load balancing voltage regulation will be be applied and uh, uh, we must have to set up the switching devices so these switching devices will be operate remotely or manually so it's our own choice when we want to keep them as the open uh, like the breaker or switches or when we want to close them and uh, there must be control and monitoring for such system and uh, the power flow uh, tie lines will uh, facilitate the flow of the power between the feeders or between the bus bars if we are considering a single network just like the IEEE 33 bus system in this case. And uh, there is a slight uh, difference between the network reconfiguration and the tie lines. Uh, network reconfiguration actually is uh, the process of changing uh, the way uh, distribution feeder or circuits are config configured or connected with each other and uh, the tie lines uh, is actually a part is a uh, tie lines is actually a separate concept which is actually the tool used in the network reconfiguration process uh, to control the circuits or to uh, connect the bus bars uh, as per our choice when we want to keep them open or we want to keep them be closed. So the main objective of the network reconfiguration is actually uh, to optimize the distribution system performance and uh, this may in involve reducing losses, improving voltage profiles, balancing loads uh, or enhancing the reliability. So uh, in this video tutorial improved gray wolf optimizer which i have uh, i have already made another video how improved gray, gray wolf optimizer works so i will put that link in the description or in the i button you may take a look at the video how it works so in this video i will not uh, much explain about the igwo but basically i will focus on the concept of the tie lines how it works so let's uh, let me show you that uh, visually how it works so here I have a, a simulink model for that but uh, in this video I will talk about the script code so in this in this simulink model you can say that here is our uh, the feeder and our main grid and then here are our in in this line we have Sorry, actually, uh, uh, this uh, the Simulink model uh, was actually the minimized, and here you can see this is the Simulink model, and let me show you this concept visually. This is the our main grid and the feeders. Uh, this is the uh, this row is actually representing the 18 bus buses, and this represent. Let me zoom in. Uh, this represent the bus 22 so uh, we here we have a connection at the bus number 21 and the bus number 6 so we have just made connection between the bus bars you can see that uh, there is a connection between these two and uh, there are uh, some uh, equipment and uh, circuit breakers 
two uh, which, uh, which are configured in this system. So let me uh, close that. So here uh, in our script code, uh, this is the main uh, fixed position. Uh, initially, search agents are considered, and uh, here uh, is the uh, number of DGs, how many DGs uh, we want to incorporate. Let me left, left click here and let me click on continue. So uh, le let me consider three DGs, and then there is a call at uh, which location uh, we want to put the DGs. So let me consider at the number of the uh, uh, the seven. So after that, there is uh, some kind of uh, initialized values for the DG. So let me go through that. Okay. And here is some lower bound and upper bounds. So lower bound initially three lower bounds is representing the real power and the last three represent the reactive power of our DGs and the between triple seven represent the location of the DGs. And here in the upper bound we have initially uh, the size for our maximum size for our maximum size for our real power and uh, And then we have the locations uh, which we have considered we have fixed here and we can also put here uh, a variation between from 1 to 33 we can choose any locations uh, based on uh, we have to just do a slight change here in this uh, initialized value for DG where we have initialized our variables and then there is a reactive power so uh, maximum iterations consider number of DG is 3 so it will be 150 and now here we are into the igwo uh, dot m file which here we give our maximum iterations lower upper bound and the dimension variable and this search agents into igwo and in igwo uh, uh, this code is actually taken from the ali mirage ali and uh, they hold the license for this uh, code uh, you may easily get that code from uh, their website uh, which is uh, this is the, this is the website okay so here we are creating the ones I already have explained uh, these details in uh, in a very much uh, detailed video about the IGWO so here our main concern is uh, the load flow uh, here uh, are the positions uh, here are the inputs or we have just uh, slightly uh, change our position so let me move uh, my cursor here or uh, the instruction to be here and here positions let me show you let me copy it okay let me open the So here you can see in this data, these are the uh, real powers and then these are the locations, reactive powers are uh, not considered here. So these are the different numbers, uh, the data which we have to put into and uh, uh, we have 50 items here, uh, 50 uh, which is actually the dimension of this program. Uh, here uh, the search number of the search agents, so we have search agents, that, that's why we have 50 numbers here. And uh, that uh, 50 numbers we have to uh, send that data um, step by step uh, one by one to our load flow case so load flow is actually the case or uh, load flow is actually representing the objective function here so let me get back to the load flow case and here we are into the load flow case let me click on continue now we are into the load flow case and here in DG we have first three uh, the powers which we want to inject and then we have the locations actually the data uh, we have divide that numbers by the thousand that's why the data is in such a form or uh, it's actually the one erased power three that's why uh, it's 0 0.007 which is actually the zero and uh, here is H uh, so uh, H is not considered here so it's just useless we may remove that 
okay and then there is a uh, some initialization part for it uh, there is a uh, we are inputting here the load and uh, line and load data here into this program and uh, then uh, we have to inject our uh, pg and uh, qg here uh, we have to initialize here uh, the data in, in inside the dg at the certain location we have to put into our pg and qg let me click on continue let me click on step let me click on save let me run the program again so here we have initialized our pg and qg which is actually everything is zero and right away here we are updating the pg and qg let me click on continue so here in pg and in the qg so in qg we have the data which we have previously inside the dg so this data at a certain location of the 7 inside the QG uh, we have put that data here that data is actually put at this certain location and then there is a load flow uh, calculation or evaluation I already have made another video on uh, this uh, on this load flow case that is actually about the uh, load flow analysis and uh, power system analysis that is already available on this uh, on my youtube channel you may go and take a look at that so after the completion of this now uh, we have the cost calculation let me click on continue here okay so the cost which we get from this load flow file uh, the uh, uh, power losses uh, so that power losses is, is actually into fit let me click on the continue here and you can also see that FIT so let me see FIT is representing so FIT is actually representing the real power loss we may include QL or we, we may plus PL plus QL it's our own choice so let me click on the continue so right away here we have FIT we have 50 previously in uh, form of the positions we have uh, 50 type of data uh, 50 data sets and in FIT we have uh, the fitness uh, value for that 50 data, data sets or 50 numbers okay so some are uh, uh, best and some are worst and then uh, we are updating the FIT into the p-best score and the position will be the p-best so this p-best score will represent the FIT and then there is a call for the main loop uh, alpha beta and delta improve gray wolf optimizer uh, so these conditions this is the double and I already have explained this part in the IGWO part so you may go and take a look at that and after that uh, the calculation of the alpha beta and delta and the, the purpose of these alpha beta and delta is to uh, adjust the positions adjust the numbers which we have to put into our load flow file so these numbers are adjusted based on the fitness values or the fitness uh, fitness data which we get from the fitness data which we uh, get from these initial positions so based on these initial positions and uh, the fitness value we get by putting that data into the load flow program so based on that data we have to update the positions a little bit here you can see that there is an uh, positions update and after the update of these positions uh, we have to again update our XGWO and this data this is the update data uh, the previously was our random generated data and this is the uh, updated data which we have to send into the load flow program let me show you let me click on continue here so right away here let me show you previously we have different data and this time we have a different size location are already fixed and this data this uh, was not previously the same let me show you in the positions in the position it was 1.578965 and this time it's 315193 so based on the alpha beta and delta 
type of selection we have different data and that data we have to send into our load flow program so after that uh, again sending the load flow data into load flow program we have another uh, cost calculation uh, fitness evaluation that fitness is 158 so here is some repetition and uh, here is also uh, display uh, each time this is the end of the while loop uh, and it will be uh, continue running until we have maximum iteration so this is the end of this so let me show you by clicking on the continue so as each iteration proceeds uh, within this main loop we have uh, the best uh, costs or the fitness values which we get are displaying under here so after the completion of this main loop we'll, we will be here at this point uh, there will be 150 iterations so after that we have to uh, that data okay it's done let me click on step and now right away here we have uh, the alpha score uh, alpha score is actually the cost uh, the fitness value we get from the load flow file and this is the best location and size of the DGs and this is the uh, convergence uh, which we have to uh, plot them later so this is the main file and uh, we are right here let me click on step we uh, it's activated and right away here uh, we have the best score uh, best cost uh, best power loss uh, the best uh, location and size and here is the plot for the convergence so let's plot the convergence curve and uh, display the real and reactor powers of the DG let me click on continue okay so here you can see that uh, we have the sizes and the locations and uh, here is a plot for our uh, convergence curve so that's it hopefully uh, you enjoy this video uh, please like the video and uh, Stay tuned for our daily updates.